Christian life is just one long life of costly love. Let us run with endurance the race. You don't need endurance to run a hundred meter dash. You need strength. But you're gonna run for 26.22 miles, you need endurance. Jesus Marathon lasted 33 years. He ran the final hours of the race with nails in his feet and nails in his hands and a crown of thorn on his head and he never stopped running the marathon. That would hurt. It did hurt. There's never been a greater, there never will be a greater act of love. So the question is, all right, if that was the greatest act of love, how did he have the strength to do it? For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame. For the joy on the other side of suffering, on the other side of death, he could taste it. And so he considered the shame. You know, criminals were crucified naked and reviled. Shame was the name of the game to kill this way. And he considered the shame and he despised the shame. What does that mean? He pictured shame as a kind of tempter. You faced him, he said. Shame, I know what you're trying to do to me. I know how you create in the human soul an almost irresistible desire not to be embarrassed. I can taste a joy 10,000 times greater than you would give me if I feared you and followed you and escaped embarrassment. I can taste it. You will not direct me off my path of love and obedience. For the joy set before me, I'm going to finish this. And with that, he endured the cross, threw shame to the wind, died for sin, rose again. He reached the joy that was set before him, the greatest act of love that was ever performed in the history of the world was sustained by the desire for joy in the presence of God.